Hey, and welcome to your beginner lesson on getting started with custom outlines inside of ZimWriter. This is just a beginner lesson because we can do such a deeper dive on this. I'm going to do that later in a more advanced lesson, but there is so much power with this feature. And this is something that as far as I know is not available in any other AI writer on the planet. This is extreme power just for ZimWriter users. Let me show you, because I think showing you is better than trying to explain it. You can find the custom outline feature in the bulk writer and then also the penny arcade. So I'll click on the bulk writer. You'll see this option over here called custom outline. And you can save your different custom outlines. And there's some uh, directions up here, but definitely click this directions link. And it'll bring you to this page. There's This is such a technical feature, but it's easy to figure out. I'm just saying technical in that you need to read directions. Before you start using custom outlines, read the directions because there's a time and a place for it. And there's so much power in it. So let me explain what a custom outline is. So a custom outline is something that you would want to apply when you have a lot of blog posts that you want to follow the same outline format. So we have these three articles in here, hearty winter warmth, classic beef stew recipe, summer delight, refreshing watermelon and feta salad, decadent dessert, triple chocolate lava cake made easy. So three different recipe posts, but we want them all to follow a common format, a common outline format. So that would be a situation where we'd use a custom outline. So here's an example of the, the three articles we wrote. Decadent dessert, this is the triple chocolate, great AI image, by the way. Now look down here. The first H2 is origin of lava cake. The first H2 for this stew recipe is stew origins. The first H2 is origins of watermelon salad. So I'm telling the AI that I want some kind of an origins or a history to be the first H2. So you can see right in here, our custom outline history is our first H2, but we want to use this variable, this custom variable, which is explained. Let's see right here to modify this H2 into something more relevant to the article being written, if that makes sense. Now we could just leave this out if we want to. We could just leave this out and then every article will have the first H2 be history. I wanna leave that in. We're also telling the AI that for every first H2, we want a YouTube video. So we have a YouTube video here, YouTube video here, YouTube video here. The next H2 we want in these is something to deal with the common ingredients for this recipe. But again, we're gonna optimize the title so it's not gonna be exactly the phrase common ingredients. So essential lava cake components, essential stew components, essential salad components. And we want a table for each of these. So we have a table here, we have a table here, we have a table here. Then we want the actual recipe. But again, we're going to optimize the title here. So the actual recipe is step-by-step -step baking instructions, step-by-step -step cooking instructions, step-by-step -step assembly. And it's cool that it knows that we're assembling a salad, we're cooking the stew, and we're baking the cake. We also want an AI image, an image for each of these. So here's our image here. Then we want some expert tips, but we want the expert tips to transition into three H3s. There's another variable we're using here. We go up here. This is a variable, auto H3, and then the number is replaced with the number of H3s you want. We want three H3s. So if we look in here, let's go back up to the table of contents. It's easier to see. Expert tips. So that's exactly what we, we put because we're not optimizing the title. And we want three H3s under there. One, two, three. Let's go over here to the table of contents. We have expert tips. One, two, three, three H3s. Go back up here. Expert tips. One, two, three, three H3s. And then finally, we, we want some final thoughts down here. Final thoughts for each of these. Final thoughts. That is the power of a custom outline. Let me show you one more. That's for recipes. Let me go top five. So this is top five, a little bit more in depth. Let's see, top five over here. Top five places in Tokyo for technology enthusiasts. We have the first place, and then we have an overview, and then two, a main attraction with an optimized title and a tips optimized title. So main attraction tips. So this is top five places in Tokyo, top five places in Rome, top five places in New York. See how that works? You can even do Amazon reviews. Now, we wouldn't do Amazon reviews in the bulk writer. You would come over to the Penny Arcade. You put in a bunch of Amazon product pages. You go to custom outline. 
and this would we'd have an overview section with an optimized title call to action you can learn about the call to action here with your affiliate tag I'll put your affiliate tag in there features with another call to action pros and cons these are h3s a pros with a list a cons with a list performance optimize the title final thoughts with our closing call to action and this doesn't have to be amazon you can do any product page you want to so this feature is extremely powerful very underused underutilized feature but very powerful if you have any questions drop a comment down below hit me up on the facebook group if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe other than that i will see you in the next video